Okay, I'm going to show you how I make a bracelet. And I've got a 20 gauge wire that is in the middle. I made a right angle bend on my wire. I stuck it in between the teeth of, of uh, a couple of jaws. I'm starting it uh, with my fingers, as you saw. And then I switch to the ring clamp. And this ring clamp has leather jaws and the wire slips through it very, very nicely. I'm, I've got 24 gauge on the outside of the wire and 24 gauge makes this absolutely wonderful, delicate looking bracelet. The end of this wire, the end of the 20 gauge wire, on the left is hooked into a fishing swivel and if you don't if you've never fished you don't understand what these are for they're put on the ends of your tackle the line that goes out of your tackle and it's not going to twist off and so this works so nicely for making longer pieces of uh, coiled wire and because my mother wire is a 20 gauge wire it's very, uh, rather thin and I'm going to shove this whole thing into the chuck and uh, I have to loosen the tail stock and I want to grip onto the, the coiled wire itself. I'm going to have to cut some of that wire off of there so that it will shove into the chuck and what we're shoving into is a tube. So if we grip onto that wire, the coil wire, it's going to hold up better. Now I'll tighten the tail stock again. I want to do about 20 inches of coil wire. I put a rod on the table so that I kind of know where 20 inches is, but then I've got to subtract about four because I shoved about four inches of wire into the gizmo itself. As I was saying before, when you use 24 gauge over 20, it gives you this really delicate look. You can have different kinds of looks by using different gauges of wire. So if you use a 18 gauge mother wire and a 20 gauge core wire, you can have a, a very different look and it's it has like more of a masculine look. So depending on who you who you're aiming your work for, uh, you can use different gauges of wire to make this thing look very different. When you're doing this, one of the things that you need to be careful about is that the this wire always stays straight. If it's not straight, it'll bend, and it'll bend so much, it'll put stress onto the wire and it'll end up breaking. So you know how on cooking shows they always have extra food that's been cooking already, and then they put one thing into the oven, and then they uh, have the next thing ready so you don't have to sit there and wait? So what, you've, what we've just seen is cutting out a lot of this coiling. Now we're almost at 20 inches and uh, I'm going to say that we're going to stop right here. And I take off the ring clamp and I cut this with the flush part toward the coil. And now if you're doing an even longer piece, what you're going to be doing is to, like I could keep coiling, and make it even longer instead of cutting it off. You can shove it clear into the 
tube and it comes out the handle end and then just hook it on there. Tighten this up, tighten up your tailstock and keep coiling. But we're going to now make sure those ends are mushed down. And we don't need that much there, so I'm going to cut that, that off. Okay, this is a welding rod. And I'll do the second coiling around it. So I started out slowly and carefully. And we had a rather long piece of bare wire before and it kind of came down and started slipping. And then you want to match the number of coils on each side. And then cut that. And this got a little short but you can stretch it or you could have gone to about 24 inches or something like that of coiling. Okay, I've got a 16 gauge wire. I'm going to slip it into here. I'm going to make an eye on each end. So I go down about three quarters of an inch and make a right angle bend and then take the fat part of my round nose pliers and make an eye. And then I'll make another eye. And this one I'm going to make a little bigger. going to make a clasp for it. So I want to have a flush end there. I'll make a, a hook. Got a little eye there. And then I'm going to the largest part. I'll put the small eye into the small eye. It has a nice ring, doesn't it? And there you have a completed bracelet. And what I like to do is have the eye so it's horizontal. Both of them are horizontal and then the hook can lay flat.